San Francisco is one of the most expensive cities in the world to rent an apartment. Buying a place there, out of the question for most people. What if you could have access to housing but never necessarily own? And do you even need to own your own washing machine? Can you share it? Do you need your own hair dryer? Can you share it? Do you need your own toothpaste? Can you share it? That's the idea behind the housing company Podshare. First started eight years ago in LA by Elvina Beck. Bye. The 35 year old entrepreneur now has a location in San Diego and one in San Francisco in the Tender Knob neighborhood where you can rent a bunk bed or a pod for $1,200 a month. Comes with some shelves and a personal TV. It's in an open space with other tenants, no guests allowed. The building has two shared bathrooms, a fully stocked kitchen, a workroom and a TV room, an outdoor community space, free Wi-Fi, Netflix and Hulu, and all the utilities are included. There are also lockers you can use to store your valuables. In a way, it's kind of like going back to college dorm living, except everyone's older and more mature. Philippe Dunbar chose this co-living lifestyle because... It's crazy expensive in the day. And he works freelance, so he doesn't have a consistent income. That makes it even harder to get an apartment. Landlords really don't like unconventional. They want pay stubs. They want proof of income. If you're single with no kids, no pets, willing to live with strangers with very little privacy, tenants claim this is a steal. I was super terrified um, about just like sharing a big open space with so many people. Um, I'm like, am I too old for this? <laughs> is this like a youth thing? Cat Walker's been living at Pod Shares down in LA and here in San Francisco for almost two years. She now works for the company as a manager at the Tender Knob location. It was completely unrealistic to be able to get an apartment on my own or even with a roommate or two. The traditional apartment is, is six months rent or an, an annual lease with credit score, background check, security deposit. We don't do any of those things. Tenants book a pod online, show up with a government issued ID and their rent payment. Now because of city laws in San Francisco, you have to book for one month at a time there. So what about safety? Well, Alvina argues that the open floor plan where tenants sleep lets residents keep an eye on each other and report it if they see something odd. If the whole community finds you to be a cancer, they will push you out. In the eight years she's been in business, Alvina tells us the only incident they've had was two tenants who had a sexual relationship, which is prohibited at Podshare. Now, Elvina wants to take the company to other cities outside California. I love Seattle, Portland, and Austin, and I would love for 2020 to be that. Anusha Rasta, NBC Bay Area News.